Well, our coverage of Colorado now takes us to Grand County, where crews are still trying to get a handle on the Silver Creek fire. Fighters hoping that some rain in the forecast can help them. Now, the Silver Creek fire is one of two wildfires still very active in our state. The other is the Ryan fire that is north of Walden. Our Matt Kroschel live in Kremlin and Matt Cruz ready to put these flames out for good. Well, here we are in October, and we're still talking about major wildfires burning in Colorado. And for those firefighters that are out there on the front lines, they are relying on information from specially trained meteorologists that are actually embedded in those teams working the fires. The scars tell the story. Wildfires continue to tear through northern Colorado. We're going into now the first week of October. We haven't seen that season ending rain or snow event. So that is uh, highly anomalous. And also, it's been warm and it's been windy. And that's uh, certainly adding to the control efforts on yeah. these fires. That did Inside a command post, Sean Jacobs monitors real time weather information. Certainly, our focus is the fire and or the incident and we integrate ourselves as part of the team. We become the part of the team with uh, for those two to three weeks that we're out there. He's one of 80 volunteers from the National Weather Service assigned to wildfires across the West. It's been a challenging fall. We've seen uh, 11 out of the last 12 months where there's been precipitation deficits across north central Colorado and south, uh, south central Wyoming. Um, and it's been warm. The information he provides allows firefighters to adjust their battle plans. Okay. All that heavier smoke you see on the horizon, yeah. that's yeah. all the stuff in the building. But despite their best efforts, it's going to take Mother Nature's cooperation to put these fires out for good. We're looking toward that season ending event where we at least get a solid half inch of moisture. It's been sprinkling up here on and off all day long. Lauren Whitney, Whitney will be along in just a bit to give us some more information about possible snow and rain totals for the high country. And we're told that it will take two to three days worth of heavy snows or rains before they'll put those fires to bed for good. We're live tonight near Kremlin, Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.